As a magician, I try to show things to people that seem impossible. And I think magic, whether I'm holding my breath or shuffling a deck of cards, is pretty simple. Practice is training and experimenting. While pushing through the pain to be the best that I can be, and that's uh, that's what magic is to me. What's up, everybody? Kier Gomes here, and welcome back. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy couple of weeks. Um, I recently took a vacation. I went to go visit my family in the Bay Area. As soon as I came back, we launched the Slow Hands Kickstarter campaign, and uh, it took off pretty well in the first week, so very thankful for that. Thank you all so much for your support so far. And then unfortunately I got some pretty bad news, um, family emergency, I had to go out of town again and I was in Oregon for the past week so uh, I just got back and I have a few videos that I want to share with you guys so we're going to be getting into that today. Now this first one is one that I actually could not wait uh, to do a review for. Uh, it's a deck that I was very excited for for a couple of reasons. And as usual, you could probably tell by the title and the thumbnail and the intro. Today we're going to be talking about the new Rose Gold Gator Backs by David Blaine. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, now I really could not wait to review this deck. Uh, the David Blaine Gatorbacks are a classic in playing cards, but as well, uh, they are one of my absolute favorite decks of cards. And definitely I would say in like the top three of my favorite David Blaine decks of all time. And to help go with that, uh, while I was in California, I got a late Christmas present from my brother. This is a flyer from the Real or Magic Tour by David Blaine. Uh, you can see in the middle it has him uh, holding his breath, suspended in water. Uh, it also is signed by David Blaine and has some information about him at the bottom. At some point I am gonna incorporate this into my backdrop. I just don't know quite how yet, so. Um, be on the lookout for that. All right, so let's talk about the deck. If you're not familiar, the David Blaine Gatorbacks are a deck by David Blaine that has a lot of complexity in the back design. It was in multiple different colors, green, red, silver, gold. This one is the most recent addition, which is the rose gold Gatorbacks. The tuck box is done in black matte cardstock. It feels really nice. It's very, uh, very dry feeling, and I really like that. You can see in black embossed on the front, which is actually the back, that there is a ton of detail. You can see that it is a little bit of a preview of the deck design itself, and it says Gatorbacks playing cards embossed on the front. And of course, the piece that everybody will be able to see, it is a rose gold embossed alligator kind of up in the corner. Embossed on one side, it says the United States Playing Card Company. Embossed on the other side, it says DB Productions and Mark Stutzman, who is the designer of the deck. The top says Gatorbacks. The bottom says distributed by Split Spades, New York. There is a eight of spades reveal on the inside tongue flap, which is really neat. And then it says made in the USA with David Blaine's logo on the inside tongue flap. The back design is the back design of the cards and on here it is done in rose gold foil, which we are gonna see again on the backs. Oh. All right, I can't wait to show you the deck. Let's get into it. All right, your back design looks like this. Very, very, very blingy. Uh, it has fairly thin white borders. This is definitely not a thicker border deck. Uh, like the split spades have thick borders. This one, nice and thin. I like that a lot. The back design is done in uh, rose gold foil. So it looks really good. It's extremely metallic. You can see it catches light very well. It does have an iteration of the David Blaine split spades logo, top and bottom. It's also incorporated David Blaine's daughter, uh, Taming an Alligator, as well as some other scroll work designed by hand by Mark Stutzman. Now Mark Stutzman has designed a lot of decks of cards for a lot of different companies, not just David Blaine, but he does do a lot of work with David Blaine. And in my opinion, it's his best work. This back design looks absolutely insane. How anybody could sit down and draw something like this is, is, is crazy, it deserves a lot of credit. All right, now with this deck, you get two custom jokers done in rose gold ink. One of them is David Blaine uh, kind of levitating or taming an alligator. 
Really nice artwork. Again, David Blaine, you can always count on him for uh, amazing jokers. You can count on him for uh, custom artwork that looks really good. It's a good piece of art as well as uh, a nice looking joker. So it's always a win. David Blaine, nicely done. The other joker is gonna look extremely familiar as well and that is going to be David Blaine's daughter taming that alligator with a leash. We're also gonna get a illustration of David Blaine's daughter uh, kind of floating on an umbrella holding an alligator. It really goes with the theme. I absolutely love it. I think what I like the most about it is these are little pieces of David Blaine. I mean, he's you've seen him with his baby alligator around his shoulder. You've seen him with his daughter. It's just very, very uh, personal. And I think that makes a deck really, really special. And you get your David Blaine ad card. It just has the Split Spades logo in rose gold ink. You can use these as jokers. You can use them as uh, you know something you hang up on your wall. But either way, they look great. I think I'm just gonna keep mine in the deck. You get your classic Gatorback Ace of Spades. It's an enlarged spade pip with an alligator kind of opening its mouth. It's an enlarged spade pip with some uh, kind of water scroll work on the inside. And then you can see an alligator coming out of the top and trying to catch what looks like a seagull or some kind of bird. And below it, it says Gatorbacks number 127. And you might also notice that it does have standard USPCC indices, which is absolutely a win. In terms of elegant designs that also have a layer of magic and a layer of uh, the creator's personality and something that uh, stands out, I think, amongst typical uh, decks used for magic, I think this is really, really a special deck and the design of it is absolutely stunning. I, I love it. As well, it does have almost standard faces, but there is some customization, so let's talk about that. Your numbered face cards are done in bicycle standard in terms of the pips and indices. However, uh, there is metallic ink for the hearts and diamonds, which adds again to the theme of the deck and just looks a little bit more updated. The indices on the court cards have been uh, customized. You can see very much of that on the queens. You can see kind of that skinny little curly Q coming out. And as well, the faces have been customized to be some of David's friends and family. You can see people like his mom, his girlfriend, uh, Bill Kalouche from the Expert Playing Card Company, David Blaine himself as the King of Spades. Looks like uh, Doug McKenzie as the King of Clubs, one of my favorite magicians. I know I've said it a lot of times before, but that's the kind of customization that I think makes a deck. It's those little subtle things that make it better than a standard bicycle template. Um, I've recently learned quite a bit about that in uh, the process of the Slow Hands deck, working with Nick. He's taught me a lot about uh, things to look at, things to look for. Uh, Daniel Schneider, of course, has pointed out a lot of the imperfections in the standard bicycle template. And those are issues that you just don't have to worry about when you have somebody as talented as Mark Stutzman drawing your court card. So really, really nice work. All right, now that is pretty much all I can say about how this deck looks, but now I wanna talk about how it handles. I mean, it's a David Blaine deck, so it's gonna kick ass. <laughs> so let's talk about the handling. All right, now handling wise, this deck is exactly what you would expect from the United States Playing Card Company. Uh, this deck is printed on crushed premium stock. So it feels really, really good. It's very soft. Uh, the only thing that I noticed about this deck, uh, handling wise, that was a little bit of a complication was uh, just like all foiled decks, uh, the deck needed to be broken in a little bit uh, for the foil stamping to be able to fan properly. But once you get past it, the deck fans perfect, just like a USPCC deck should. It looks really, really good in a lot of uh, light because you can see that the foil really, really catches and reflects that light very well. I think that's definitely a plus for things like cardistry. There's a lot of different cool things that you can do uh, with a reflective deck like that. Also, of course, the back design and uh, just the nature of this deck really lends itself to magic performance. So if this is a deck that you were looking to perform with, you would not have any issues with it whatsoever. The cards spring really, really well. Uh, like I said, they came out of the box feeling really soft. They're not stiff at all. Really, really like the way they feel. Is that new dribble sound? Ooh, one more time. Oh, so good, I love that, I love that. If I had to compare the way this deck feels to another deck that you might own, I would definitely say it feels very similar to the Hydrogen deck by Elemental. It also feels a lot like the uh, Orbit deck V7, the one that was printed on web press. Now this deck was not done on web press, uh, but it has that same kind of loose paper stock feeling, so the cards are really nice, they're not clumpy. They don't stick together. They're just very, very free Ooh, and loose. I love that. 
Uh, and then this also feels a lot like the Black Roses Hotel deck that I just reviewed on this channel. In terms of things like Magic, I would say this is definitely a deck that you would be good to perform with. Not only does it feel really good because it's USPCC, um, but it also has the semi-standard faces and it has the reveal on the Queen of Spades, which makes it perfect for certain Magic effects. And it comes in a stack. I mean, this deck was made for Magic. You can even hear on the Riffle Shuffle. Let that be an indicator of how good these cards feel by how good that sounds. Listen to that. Oh, nice. The cards fare best from top to bottom for this deck, which is the same as the previous Gator Backs as well. After a few shuffles, you can see the fan just keeps getting better, which is really a good thing. I love the way it looks in a fan, especially when it catches the light. Let's check the snappiness. Woo! Yeah, that one really went flying. I really like that. So yeah, this is, a, this is a really, really quality deck. I mean, given the fact that it costs so much, you're gonna be expecting quite a bit. And I would say David Blaine uh, really delivered on this one in terms of just the, the quality, the, the design came out really good. I like the rose gold. It looks, in certain lights, it looks like a regular kind of gold, but even still, looks just so good. In terms of card flourishes, I think that this deck would look really cool in Cardistry just because of all of the shine and all of the reflectiveness. However, again, depending on your lighting situation, if you're filming your Cardistry, you might have some trouble really catching those details. So uh, really just depends on your lighting, but I think this is a great looking deck for Cardistry, Magic, uh, it could be a really nice fancy poker game. And uh, there you go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the new Rose Gold Gatorbacks by David Blaine. Now I picked up a couple of these, I might need to pick up a couple more, but I do wanna say they are available at David's website. I'll link that in the description, uh, but they are about $20 plus shipping. So uh, it's a little bit on the spendy side, but I'm telling you, David Blaine decks are notorious for how long they last. They feel really good, they look really good. I think it's a worthy investment even if you just pick up one. As well, I am gonna be getting ready to announce the winners of the OPC Snackers giveaway, but due to some of the personal stuff I've had going on, I haven't had a chance to read a lot of those comments yet. Same thing goes for the Black Roses giveaway. I'm gonna let that one ride out for a little while before me and Daniel pick the winner. So uh, stay tuned for that. As well, I do wanna say if you guys are interested in seeing what I've got going on on Kickstarter, I will put a link in the description as well as some videos where you can see all about the campaign. We're so close. I think at the time of this recording, we're about 90% there, maybe a little bit less. So uh, I'm just, I'm really, really, really excited to see what comes of this campaign. I absolutely can't wait to get those cards printed. And thank you all so much for the support that we've had so far. I got a lot more videos planned, guys, so stay tuned. I should be able to get back to a normal upload schedule here after the Kickstarter campaign is over. I don't see any reason why you won't be seeing a lot more of me very soon. All right, and with all that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.